Step four, pure versus mixed states. So we have seen how to describe pure states and how to describe mixed states. And we have kind of hinted at the difference between them, that pure states describe states with, where we have full knowledge of the state, whereas mixed states uh, include some uncertainty about the states. We don't have the perfect knowledge of the state. So how can we actually see this difference in real life? Consider two examples of the states that the qubit can be in. A superposition, and in, in particular an equal superposition of the 0 and 1. So we have 0 weighted by 1 over square root of 2, 1 weighted by 1 over square root of 2. So if we take these probability amplitudes, and we take the modulus squared, we get 1 half, 1 half. So intuitively, this kind of means that we are 50% of the time in 0 and 50% of the time in 1. We can also consider the maximally mixed state. So now this is not a pure state, this is a state that lives in the center of the block sphere, as we said. So it's the furthest away from the surface of the block sphere. So somehow we have the most uncertainty about the state itself. And we write it down as this, we've got the outer product of the state 0, weighted by probability 1 over half, 1 over 2, and the outer product for state 1, weighted by probability 1 over 2. So if you just look at these two, they give you um, the same kind of intuition that this state is also 50% of the time in 0 and 50% of the time in 1. So what is the difference between them? Well, we can measure them in the Z basis and we get exactly what I just said. Uh, for the equal superposition, we will find that uh, we get the probability um, of the plus 1 outcome to be a half. So after the measurement, half of the time we will find the state in state 0. Uh, and uh, for the minus 1 outcome, the probability is 1 over 2, again 50%, and then the state is found is 1. And this is true also for the maximally mixed state. The probability of uh, outcome plus 1 is 50%, and the probability of state minus 1 is also 50%. So what's going on? What's the difference between these two states? I started by saying that for one of these states, the equal superposition, we have perfect knowledge of the state, whereas for this one, we don't have perfect knowledge of state. In fact, we are maximally unsure what the state is. Well, we can in fact rotate our basis of measurement, and instead of measuring in the Z basis, we can measure in the Pauli X basis. So again, the states are the same, but this time we write them in the Pauli X basis. So we said that this state, an equal superposition of 0 and 1, can be just written as a ket plus. And the same is true over here. We can just rewrite this ket 0 and bra 0 as the inner product of plus with itself, and same for 1 and 1. It's just the inner product of minus 1, minus 1. And now, if we look at the probabilities for the different measurement outcomes, we get the, that in the Pauli X basis, we've got the probability of plus one outcome to be equal to one. You can see it from the description of the state, that all the time, if we measure, we find the state in plus. And the probability of minus one, therefore, must be 0%. The state is never found in the minus, because there is no component of the minus state in this superposition. On the other hand, in here, we see that the same state rho, but written in the x basis, can still be found 50% of the time in the plus state, and 50% of the time in the minus state. So, these states are in fact different. And to see this difference, you have to measure in a different basis. It's not enough just to measure in one basis, you have to also check a different basis. So, to summarize uh, the differences between pure states and mixed states. In terms of notation, pure states we always write with this ket symbol, these angled brackets, and we use letter, Greek letters like psi or phi, whereas the mixed states we write without these angled brackets, because they cannot uh, be written as a superposition of kets. Pure states can be represented by vectors and matrices. It's up to you and the problem that you're uh, facing, whether the more appropriate description is in terms of vectors or in terms of matrices whereas the mixed states can only be represented with matrices. There's no way of writing down a mixed state using only vectors. The normalization for pure states is over here. The inner product of uh, psi with itself, mod squared, has to be equal to 1, such that, again, 
the measurement probabilities come out uh, properly. Whereas for mixed states, you have to look at the trace of the density matrix row, and the trace must be equal to 1. And physically, we say that pure states represent uh, scenarios where we have full knowledge, perfect knowledge of our system. There is no noise, there are no errors, we have the ideal state. Whereas mixed states are useful uh, in scenarios where we do have to consider noise, where we don't have full knowledge of the state, which in fact is all the time in a real lab or under, in real world situations.